everyone. It's Wednesday today. I've had a bit of a, a, bit of a busy week. I've been doing um, some first aid training, ready for when we get back together. I'm due for that, so I've been doing all the theory for that, and I've got the practical tomorrow. Uh, and the other thing I've been doing is just following up with one of my local politicians. I'm a little bit confused as to when we're actually allowed to get back together again. So they're following up with the health minister's office to see when we can start getting back together properly. Uh, so hopefully soon. I'm just waiting on that confirmation. So we'll just see how we go. It could be, could be next week, who knows, but it could be four weeks. It may not be until that 15th of June mark for stage two. So we'll just have to wait and see. And of course, it's that social distancing too. I just want to do a little bit of um, shoulder and hip stability today. Um, it's um, just a, a nice gentle movement but it's for me it's challenging because um, I want to control the movement and I don't want to I just want to get the arm and the shoulder movement the hip movement without moving everything else so and it's also trying to engage those correct muscles to to support the, the joints so I'm going to come on to um, uh, onto my mat and, and I'm just going to come onto my four point kneeling. Now I want to make sure my hip, my knees and hips are in that nice alignment and my wrists are straight under my shoulders. Now if you find you've got wrist issues, if you've got a mat or a pillow you could roll your mat up or your pillow just to take a little bit of pressure off the wrist. You could um, come into a fist which also helps take the pressure off the wrist as well. Um, I'm going to see if I can do mine with my hands on the floor. And I just to warm up everything first, I just want to take an inhale breath. And as I inhale, I want to tuck the tailbone under, lifting my belly button to the ceiling. This is just spinal movement, just to warm up. And I'm going to start looking at my belly just to see through. Now starting at the tailbone, on the exhale breath I'm going to reach my tailbone behind me as my belly starts dropping, my chest starts extending through. Oh my goodness, that's so lovely, just to get that nice movement to start with. And then inhale, I'm going to tuck that tailbone under, lifting the belly, reaching the chest to the ceiling and get that, get that nice stretch. I'm pushing my hands away there and as I reach through that tailbone, I'm putting my hands towards my knees, even though you can't see that's what's happening, and reaching through. So just to get that nice movement through the spine to start warming up through as we lengthen. Because I've been on my wrists for a 
little bit. I'm just going to turn my wrists my, so that my fingertips are towards my knees just to stretch them back out again. Now if that's too strong for you, you could just do it with your hands here, but I quite like the strength of stretching the wrists the other way for a moment. From there, I want to take the inhale breath and without moving through my lumbar, through my lower part of my body, I do want to lengthen my legs a lot. Now if you find that this is too hard, it might be that you just take the leg long. But if you can, I'm going to try to activate through the glutes to lift the foot off the ground. And then I'm going to bring it back in again. And to, without trying to rock through, I'm going to lengthen the leg long and then lift and reach through. So hopefully you don't see that little rocking movement. And lengthen. I like to lengthen first and then lift, but I really want to get the lifting from the glute here as I stretch and lengthen. And I'm going to do one more here. Keeping that nice neutral position through the spine. And then what we'll do is we'll add on. And I'm really reaching my belly button to the ceiling so that I can control things. Now this time, if you're able to, I might just stretch my wrists out for a moment. So go ahead and just take a little rest for the wrist. And then from there I'm going to do an opposite arm and leg. So as I slide along, I'm, just, whoops, I'm going to slide along, keep stable, I feel a little rock here, and then lift the arm and leg, stabilising through, because I'm talking too much, I'm not controlling through my abdominals here. And then as I exhale, I'll try not to rock, but lengthen and lift, finding that stability, whoops, and strengthening through, lengthening through. And as I exhale, lifting that belly, the shoulder blades are away from the ears, lifting up. I could feel my shoulders lifting just a little bit as I reach through, I'm trying not to rock from side to side. You could even put, if you've got a little book on your lower back there, just to see whether it rocks. And you'll know if it starts rocking off. <laughs> Stabilising through. And I'm going to do one more set. Oops, little cramp through the feet. So if you've got hip issues, I would actually do, these are actually really good for your hips. And coming back through. Now the other thing I want to do, stretch those wrists out again. And I actually might come onto my um, fists this time. I'm going to take an inhale breath. I want to find that neutral position. I've got my abdominals activated and I'll do it from the side here to start with. But as I exhale, I want to lift the leg to the side and back down. So we do our clams uh, on our side when, we, when we're lying down on our side. Um, but this one I want to do in our four point kneeling. And again, I want to stabilise through my body here. I'll come to the side so you might be able to see it through the side line, through, through the front. And so I'm just lifting through that front. And so I'm trying to keep everything nice and steady. And as I lift, if it's within your range of movement, see if you can take the leg long, bend the knee and bring it back in. And I really, it really catches me there. I know it's good for me. So from the side position, it's lifting and lengthening, bending that knee and coming back down. So I'm trying not to rock, I'm tr not trying to lift through, but I'm just trying to lift where I can, stabilising, bend through and back. I need... And I almost need to do a double exhale breath. So I need to exhale to take my leg up, I need to do an inhale breath and then I need to do an exhale breath to take the leg long because for me that's a hard move for me. So I'm going to do one more. And I'm going to lengthen the leg long and then bring the leg back in. 
So I'm going to take it, I'll, I'll move it, I'll come around this side. And I'm going to take the other leg nice and to the side. So I'm going to take the inhale breath, exhale, lift. Keep nice and stable through everything else. And exhale. And pressing through. As I do this, I feel as I almost more pressure coming onto one hand to help stabilise me. So as I'm lifting that left leg, I feel as though I'm um, stabilising through this hand more, through the left hand a little bit more, if that helps you. And I'm reaching long, stabilising. And so I'll do one or two more at the front, just so that you can see from that front position. And one more. And this time I'm going to lift that leg, taking the inhale breath, the exhale, lengthen. Inhale, bend the knee back and bring it through. And I said, it really, I do catch it in here. I know it's good for me. I've just got to keep smiling through it. And if it, if it really is too much for you, don't lift it so high. Maybe you can lengthen along the floor. And that just takes a little bit of pressure. So to that side view would be lifting and then taking along the floor there. So it's not such a great lift. But it does, I really, it does catch me there. I'm just going to do a couple more here. And back down. And I can't talk whilst I'm doing this, so let me breathe. Take that inhale breath and exhale. Inhale and back in. This is my challenge side. You probably noticed my little <laughs> moment there. And then from there, I'm just going to come into my. I'll come back to stop. I'm just going to take myself into my child pose and stretch myself out. Take my wrist because I feel as though I've really worked those wrists and just stretch those wrists back out. Taking those breaths and hopefully that helps your hips get a little bit more mobility and I do feel it. They're small moves. They, they don't look like they're much, but by gee, they really work for me. Anyway, hopefully, hopefully, really, really soon we'll be able to get that together and, and have a great chat and, and do this together in person. Okay, have a good week. See you.